Hi there. So today we're going to learn how to change the filters on one of these AquaPure uh, filtration systems. As you can see, we've got the water main comes in through here, goes down into the filter here, goes through, up, and around, and up into the building. So the first thing we got to do is turn the left handle off. And we can turn the right handle off. All right, so those are both set to off. Now we can remove the cap from the bottom drain plug and attach the hose. So down here. This is how we're gonna move our water. Okay, so now that that's open, you can see that it's not draining in just yet, so we've got to release the pressure valve here. Well, this is already loose. Okay, so that's loose. We don't need to do that. But we're going to slowly open this handle. Alright, and now that I've added a little bit of air, we're able to pull through, and you can see the water is draining into the bucket. All right, so as that starts to drain, we're going to loosen, we're gonna take off this cap and we're gonna start by loosening this T bolt here. Get out of the way. So once this is totally, I think I'm the it the whole way. Okay, no, not yet. There it is, get that by. So now we can take off the V-clamp. All right, now the cover will come right off. It's pretty simple, we just remove this. All right, that's off. Now we can remove the pressure plate. And here are our dirty filters. So as you can see, they're very dirty. Um, there's 12 filters in total. So why don't I get those prepared? All right, 12 filter cartridges. We're now good to go. So by this point, the water should be mostly drained out at this point. And yeah, I can see that they're basically level. Uh, if I look in here and look deep down in there. Uh, so this is where it gets a little messy. We're gonna be taking these out and putting them in the trash bag. All right, we'll put this bag to the side. And now we can load our new cartridges. Now all our new filters are in, so we'll take our pressure plate here and just fix that on top, making sure to get the holes inside. There it is. Alright, get this thing, put it back on. Alright, nice and tight. Now, let's see, we're going to put our cap back on. Okay. Uh, so now we're going to reattach the V-clamp. And with the V-clamp on, we can put our T-bolt back in. Sure. 
under a tight seal because once we reintroduce the water, it's going to uh, be tight. Okay, so that seems pretty good. Okay, so once again, here's our filled bucket. And before we release this, before we release this hose, we're just going to turn this closed. And we are going to get some water coming out of this, probably. So how are we going to remedy this? Um, probably the best thing to do... The trick is going to be raising this as fast as possible. Unfortunately, we do have some rags and provide us some of this extra water. It did not end up being that much. And we put our cap back on top. Alright, so that's all soaking up. So, what we're going to do is uh, turn the left handle back on. So, we reintroduce water. Remember, this is empty now. And we still have our sort of pressure valve, um, or top valve open. So we're gonna reintroduce the water slowly and then wait for the water to come out of here and then close it then because we wanna make sure that there's no air introduced into the system. This needs to be all water or else we'll end up with uh, issues. So let's just do that now. I'm just going to do it a little bit, just slowly. There it is. There it is. <laughs> All right. So now I've got that closed. This can remain um, open a little bit, just a little, and we can reintroduce the water fully. All right. And now the water main is back online. And that is how you change a water filter. So all we have to do now is dump out this bucket and clean up a little bit of our mess and we are good to go. And we're gonna have some cleaner water in store for us. So thanks for watching.